Conklin is turning boring old furniture into fun, whimsical pieces. And you love whimsy, Larry. Oh, especially her chairs. Her videos and projects have led to a huge following on social media. Now she's offering lessons through her online courses. Wendy Conklin joins us now. Tell us more about how she got started and her business, Chair Whimsy. Hello, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hi. Hi, Larry. Robin, how are you? I mean, I really, you know, my mom used to reupholster the dining room chair. Is this different? Is this, is, this has become a whole thing now. It has become a whole thing. I mean, especially during COVID, um, people needed something to do that's productive, that's creative. And, um, you know, I feel like this has filled a big need for people to express their individuality, you know, like with just the fabrics that you can even use on a chair. So you can see just kind of the transformation of what can happen with uh, a couple chairs. I mean, it's just amazing. Wendy, this may surprise you, but I'm not very good at upholstering uh, <laughs> it's shocking. Uh, yeah. Is it is it as difficult as I think it is, or is, is it not so bad? Larry, you, you could even do it, honestly. Um, it is not difficult. It is just mainly understanding what do you do first, then what do you do second, then what do you do third. It's just a series of steps, really. And I think pe most people do feel intimidated by it, but... If you just get really good instruction, it is the simplest thing to do, honestly. All right, and I feel like those the, the chair you're showing us there, that's a pretty loud pattern. Uh, I, I assume choosing of the, of the fabric is the biggest thing because you don't want a room that's going to have 50 flower patterns, do you? Well, uh, absolutely. So that is key. I mean, you know, the, the patterns that you use, and I usually think the bigger the better because it just makes a bolder statement, but also the fabric placement. So it just, it matters where you put, you know, the flowers. Um, if you're using a big floral statement or how you position a certain stripe, if you go horizontal or vertical, and it really matters according to like what your space looks like, you know? So, so you have to take all those things into consideration, but you know, that's really part of the fun of doing something like this. Now I'm looking at you doing this in this video that you posted. Yeah. That does not look fun. That looks or like easy. a lot of, or easy. <laughs> I saw staple guns, hot glue guns, extra padding. I mean, really the average person can do that? They absolutely can. I mean, you know, you just need basic cotton, foam, and fabric to be able to do something like this. And like I said, you know, you see me, I'm just going through steps there, and I'm, I'm going to play around with the fabric, as you see right here. You know, I'm trying to figure out what looks good. But see, that's the fun part, because, like, when we create with our hands, there's really something magical that happens, um, both inside us and to what we're doing. I mean, when you can transform a chair from something that was really ugly and outdated, you're upcycling, so you're doing good for the environment, and then you're really doing something good for yourself because you're taking on a challenge that maybe you thought was hard at the beginning, but when you get good instruction and you learn how to do it step by step, I mean, it's really not difficult. And there's such a sense of accomplishment, you know, whenever you're done, you're like, wow, look at what I just did. You know, it may yeah. not be perfect, but it, it looks great. Well, Wendy, you have far too much faith in Robin and me, but thank you for your optimism. <laughs> and just watch her social media videos because yeah. she will show you how to do it. For more information, go to chairwhimsy.com, and uh, there's the info on social media. Thanks, Wendy. Thank you.